language, arts and heritage, all in one place. Right now, there's no map like it in Canada. A wealth of Indigenous knowledge right at everyone's fingertips. I feel like there's a real thirst right now for people to want to learn about their uh, Indigenous neighbours and to learn about the history of their communities around them. A new province-wide map is highlighting First Nation communities, inviting everyone to learn and share. They can explore rich content that they've never really had access to before. It's something that has been missing. I feel like now is the, the best time to really celebrate and honour Indigenous knowledge keepers and elders and artists and cultural heritage experts. All of the content is created by the communities. So there's been a lot of collaboration in the development of the platform that communities are now using to create content that they want to share with the world. Showcasing art like this. For Indigenous people to celebrate their Indigenous cultures, arts and languages on this platform, but we also invite non-Indigenous to use the map as a resource and a valuable tool. It can also be used to assist in the fight against wildfires. When we do kind of have a, a report of a fire and we're sending our initial attack crews, things are moving really quickly. And so this is just a really tool, a really handy tool to have on hand to kind of pull up that heritage, the points of interest and see what's in the area. Lots of opportunity for, for our crews and for everyone at uh, BC Wildfire Service to engage with this tool. The map is being released now during National Indigenous History Month. I know a lot of people right now are focused on reconciliation and I feel like this is a really helpful tool for people to start that journey. Alana Kelly, Glacier Media, Victoria.